All right, so I submitted my course. That was the last video, uh, and I got a response back pretty quick, and they actually had a couple things that were wrong that they, they're really just suggestions, so not a ton actually wrong that I needed to fix. There was a lot more with that first course that I actually had to go back and fix, and it just took a ton of time. This was more like audio-visual quality, stuff like that. They wanted the highest quality that they can make it. I mean, with the equipment that I have, the, what it is is the best that I can do, and I have a DSLR uh, Nikon camera. So, I mean, the quality is really, really good. They want it like next level and I just can't afford to do that. So, but luckily it passed. So like I said, those were just suggestions. The big thing that didn't work though, um, I guess the tracking information for uh, the cover image for the course, because you can actually have them design that because uh, they have rules with that and it's kind of hard to design it on your own. But I submitted that. It, it just didn't go into the system. So I had to resubmit it. It took a second and now it has a temporary one on there that it, just so that it can be live, it's going to take them a couple more days to get that image to me. But let's cover real quick what they were wanting kind of done. And I'll just show you the fact that it is live here. So looking at this, so that's the current image. If you can see that right there, obviously I, I don't want that. It doesn't encapsulate kind of what the course is. Um, so we had AV video quality, just told them, hey, that's the best I can do. Uh, audio quality. There's a low hum, but that's really the sound in the gym. I, and I tried to get rid of it in uh, Audacity one time, and it just was going to make everything sound horrific. So I uh, didn't want to mess with that. Um, preparedness. Uh, basically, if, if you say um or any, if you have any type of pause, they don't like that. So unfortunately, that's not going to be the case with the course in certain instances where I am trying to explain concepts that I can't memorize all of that. It's kind of off the cuff with it. And course title and description. I made the description longer for the course. Um, intro lecture. That was another one. I actually just went back. Um, so my intro lecture was really just, uh, hey, this is the course. Thank you for buying it. Um, there's this many videos. That's it. Let's get started. They wanted in this um, an introduction um, uh, to who are, it was almost like it's like reiterating what's in the promo. So instead of uh, going in and, and shooting another video, because honestly, that's the most frustrating part for me is those those videos. Because for that, you do have to I do have to prepare. I have to write something out. I have to try to memorize it. And then you end up fumbling over your words a bunch because it isn't just off the cuff. And um, with that, I ended up taking the promo video, the intro video, and then splicing it. Because the stuff that he's asking me to do, describe who the course is for, who it will benefit, uh, final objective, an overview of the material that's going to be covered, all of this, uh, and an introduction to who I am, that was all in the promo video. So I just took that and was able to cut it good enough that it just, because I did this at the same time, I, the same time I filled the promo stuff, I also did... Um, that intro video so the settings the same the looks the same all of that so I was able to cut that all together Th so that actually worked out where I wasn't gonna have to go and go in and again and, and film because like I said that's the most frustrating part for me so uh, what I'm gonna do with this is if anybody watches this and um, you want the course uh, and, and you watch this specific video message me and I'm gonna give it out to you for free uh, just to just to have that information out there to help anybody that needs it. So hit me up, say you've watched this video and that you actually want the free coupon for the course and I'll make sure that I get that to you. So thank you guys so much for watching. Um, subscribe to the YouTube channel um, if you want to continue to follow along with all this content that I put out there. Um, besides just video blogs, this was kind of a new thing for me. I usually just do informational things with soft tissue work and mild fascia release, uh, workout videos, supplement reviews, all of that stuff. And then uh, hit the like button if you like the video. And like I said, if you want the course for free, just hit me up, send me a message, say, or just comment, I, I want the course, and I'll make sure that I message that or get that to you however I need to so that you can get the course for free. For free. Thanks for watching, guys.